Gas stoves are at the top of mind for Americans as there have been more and more warnings about the safety risks associated with them. So there have been some rumors that there might be an upcoming ban on gas stoves. That's not gonna happen yet on a federal level, although there have been some new regulations based on which state you live in pertaining to new construction and the inclusion of gas stoves. So what's going on here? Well, on Monday, Richard Trumka Jr., one of the four commissioners on the Consumer Product Safety Commission said this, okay? This is a hidden hazard, meaning the gas stoves. Any option is on the table, products that can't be made safe can be banned. As it turns out, there are some concerning health impacts associated with gas stoves. Uh, that I didn't know about and had been largely ignored. So when a gas stove is on, it does release uh, not only a small particulate matter that can enter the lungs, but also nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and formaldehyde. Which by the way, I just natural. pronounced perfectly and I'm really proud of myself. All of which by the way, are also considered health risks, John. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't see how those are going to kill you. Formaldehyde is already used to preserve dead bodies. So that seems like the, if anything, that would sustain life. What could kill you is an electric stove that makes subpar food. We'll get to that in a moment, but first more details on the health risks yeah. associated with gas powered stoves. At the heart of the issue is medical research showing nearly 13% of childhood asthma cases in the US can be linked to the use of a gas stove. It's one of multiple studies looking into chemicals that enter our homes through stoves. These are oxides of nitrogen or NOx uh, that um, get released into our homes when we use gas to cook. And those and NOx are well known to contribute to asthma. Many pollutants are odorless. Consumer Reports also looking into this. Nitrogen dioxide is a concern because we know that it does have adverse effects on respiratory tract, respiratory illnesses. You see that? The woke left mm-hmm. trying to rob us of our gas stoves, mm-hmm. bringing up chemicals that are odorless, they don't even smell bad, John. And that's the they only way that something can hurt bad. you is if it has to smell bad. Look, people say that we we sometimes don't have enough um, diversity of opinion. We don't bring conservatives on. This is actually, I'm excited, the first time that I'm co-hosting a segment with Tucker Carlson. <laughs> and so this is an exciting thing for me. Okay, look, in all seriousness, I do love my gas powered stove. I will admit that, okay, but of course, I take these safety concerns very seriously. But not yet. Not yet. No, but okay, but now I'm being serious. It's fine if, let's say, California is phasing out the use of gas stoves, certainly in new construction and stuff like that. That's cool. The problem that I have, mainly with most environmental efforts, is this honestly, it feels like they always put the onus, the financial onus, on the consumer. And I think there needs, okay, you, in no, California, no, 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 there's no help, by the way. So eventually, the IRA has hold on, stop the IRA for a has second. Stop. To transition Let, me Let me finish okay, my well. point. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. California is moving toward banning the sale of all gas powered vehicles because they want to go all electric by, I believe it was 2035, which is fine. But okay, at some point when you're unable to buy a gas powered vehicle or you know, you're going to be pressured to buy an electric vehicle. Is there going to be any financial aid in doing I mean, that? There have been up until this point. I would argue that there needs to be more. But the- will there be when when I do live in a condo? And mm-hmm. you know what's going to happen? Eventually, at some point, there's going to be an HOA meeting where we're going to talk about allocating the necessary funds to convert every single unit in the building from gas-powered stoves to electric stoves. Making those conversions is gonna I mean, cost money. Is the government gonna help with that? Well, that, that's on your HOA if they're deciding to do that. If the no, regulations but, aren't requiring it and the HOA is insisting that you no, do that. No, but the regulations by default will require that. Well, I will because say Because when they stop allowing the construction of new homes that include gas powered uh, stoves and all of that, well then the technology that we're using slowly but surely will be completely antiquated. We're gonna have mm-hmm. to switch to an electric stove when we need a new stove, and right? Horse-drawn carriages eventually became a little bit harder to buy new. 
Yeah, okay, but true. John, it's a serious concern. Are well, we going to get financial say, again, aid? The IRA has money to help you switch over from gas to eight hundred and fifty dollars. Very specifically, it does. I don't know if California has a specific thing. It seems like an easy sort of thing for Gavin Newsom to champion and pass to pretend that he's a true progressive. I, I it is possible they have something like that. And look, I'm not. I, it's not like I've been banging the wardrobes on gas stoves for a long time. My house has a gas stove. You know why? Because they're awesome. That's no, why. because the house was built in like 1942, and it's probably the original. Original stove that was when there. the construction of homes was awesome. Continue. Anyway, <laughs> look, it has consequences. You now cannot deny what the consequences are, and and especially if you're going to be burning a gas, having it be nose high to a child and directly under the food you consume seems like an especially bad way to do it. There are other ways to heat things. I'm not saying they, we need to take them out of houses and in that way I am like everyone else because nobody including Richard Trumka or AOC or anyone is saying they're gonna come in and take your stove. I will find my final point is it is one thing for conservatives to be like, I don't wanna switch to an electric car. That's a bridge too far, I like my V8. It's a different thing when they say, I don't wanna switch to an electric car. I also don't want to use solar power. I don't want to get LED light bulbs. I don't want efficiency standards. I don't want the electric stove. I don't want literally anything. Yeah. I don't want to eat a little bit less meat. I will not participate in any productive way mm -hmm. to help us fight climate change. And if you don't want a couple of the biggest things to be all or nothing, then maybe we can start to make subtle small changes across a wide range of things. But they're not willing to do either of those. Yeah, I'm not in that camp. And look, at the end of the day, fine, I'll give up my gas stove. I'm, I'm not that bitter about it. Except I do think that electric stoves need to improve. I know some of you are gonna write in and be like, no, my electric stove is awesome. No, it's not, it's not, don't lie to me. But like, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine all just with microwaves. it. Again, no, we shouldn't. My, <laughs> my big biggest microwave. concern is, is whether people are gonna get the help they need financially to make these changes, because I think the changes are important. Right now, though, I, I do want to note that the head of the commission uh, threw cold water on the idea that we're going to, you know, in the near future, ban this federally, ban gas stoves federally. Quote, I'm not looking to ban gas stoves, and the CPSC uh, has no uh, proceeding to do so. CPSC is researching gas emissions in stoves and exploring new ways to address any health risks. CPSC also is actively engaged in strengthening voluntary safety standards for gas stoves. So voluntary. gas stoves could be improved so they're safer possibly. So that's yeah, a possibility here. But finally, this is the, the part that I really wanted to get to. Uh, after I kind of dealt with my own feelings about this. Let's go to graphic <laughs> seven because the former White House doctor, Ronnie Jackson, not a fan. Not a fan of any of this discussion uh, and I'm against him. So that's how you know, John, that I'm not one of the bad guys. Mm -hmm. I'll never give up my gas stove. If the maniacs in the White House come for my stove, they can pry it from my cold dead hands. Come and take it. You'll, you'll die over your stove? Like, yeah. I, look, I've never understood the argument that you should die over having access to guns. The purpose of which is to stop you from dying. That always seemed a little bit weird to me, but yeah. dying over the stove. He's also, by the way, fundraising off the issue. So that's, of course. That's, yeah. of course. So. No, this, this is just conservative politics. <laughs> Literally anything being changed, any regulation is supposed to be the scariest thing ever. Exactly. Nothing should ever improve, nothing should get better. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.